Welcome, welcome everybody to this video. Today we're going to be doing something different. Just talk about everything that happened in the last couple of weeks. I haven't uploaded in a while. I know, I'm sorry, I've just been swamped. But let's just get into it. First thing that I'm going to talk about is uh, KSI versus Tommy Fury, Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis. I'll be dead honest with you guys. Uh,. I didn't watch any other fight besides the two main fights. I heard Dean the Great and Slim had a great fight, but I'm not reacting to that. I'll just check it out after this video. But what really, really irked me about this shit is it, it kind of just showed why people just like I didn't I didn't pay for it. I, I didn't pay for it. I just watched it, and it kind of shows why you shouldn't take YouTube uh, boxing seriously because. They're not boxing. It's an entertainment. Like, and the thing is, like, boxing is entertainment, obviously. But these guys are just doing it to just, you know, you get into the ring after talking all of that shit. Dylan Dennis, especially, after talking all of that shit about this dude's girl, about him, about how you gonna do this, how you gonna... He looked like the entire fight he was just trying not to get knocked out. Like, that was his goal going into the fight. He wasn't looking to win. He wasn't looking to... He was just trying not to get knocked out. Start doing the guillotine. And then the fucking security just hops in the ring in the middle of the fucking round. And the thing just stopped. What? This shit is a shit show. It's a shit show. Logan Paul, stay... Stick to WWE. Because you have proven it. And you grew up as a fucking wrestler. You took you took on bullshitting. Look, first thing that fucking comes up. Qualifying for state level division one. And he was a line. Stick to that shit, nigga. You was not a boxer. He's just too he's too much of a pussy in the ring. You seen it against KSI, where he was doing all this, he was jabbing, he was doing damage to KSI. But the problem with Logan is that he's too, like, he's not knocking niggas out. He, that's just not him, bro. He's too much of a pussy. He never takes accountability for the shit that he does, and he never takes accountability in the ring. He's just too much of a pussy, and that's just how it is. Like, I, I, I think that wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly, all right? So, Logan Paul, you fucked up. You didn't knock anybody out. You didn't look good at all. You should not be celebrating this like you've done something. You didn't do shit. Stick to wrestling, my guy. Because every clip that I see of you wrestling in the WWE, holy shit is a banger. Holy shit, you're doing some crazy shit. Stick to that and your podcast, man. I don't like Logan Paul. I don't fuck with Logan Paul. I think he's a piece of shit. I don't ever think that he's grown up. I'll be dead honest with you. People say, oh, he grew up, he matured, he's way better than Jake Paul. They're the same people. They're the exact same. One of them just learned how to mask it. The other one is the, 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 the you know what I love about Jake Paul? He's himself. He's not fucking like, you know what I mean? He's not acting like he's, some, he's himself. Logan is acting like some, you know, I don't give a fuck about that. Dylan Dennis, you should like, you shouldn't act like this thing is going to troll on Twitter. Like, bro, you is not him. I uh, use just not him like like dead ass be like I fucking hate when people act like they've done something you haven't done shit all right that's the first fight that I watched I hated it I I stopped watching and then I looked back and there there's like 30 people in there I was just like bro like this is not boxing this is not entertaining this is just a shit show I was so mad I was just like why is this even a thing and then I was like KSI versus Tommy Fury next fight I'm like, I bet this shit is about to be something. This shit is about to like get get me excited. Like KSI is not gonna go in there and just like clinch and he's not gonna just gonna like box and do all this stupid shit. No, you know what he's gonna do, KSI? He's gonna go in there and try to go for it. I know he is. First round, clinch, 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 clinch. Six rounds, clinch, 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 clinch. I'll be dead honest with you. I think the fight was a draw, but if somebody's gonna win the fight, it was Tommy Fury. And I'm not a boxing guy. I love KSI. I don't love KSI. I like KSI. I like KSI. He's a YouTuber. He's black. Both things that I am. But Tommy Fury was in the middle of the ring, controlling him, putting KSI in the corner every time. And every time they clinched, KSI was doing all this. Tommy hit him in the back of the head a couple of times, which, you know, which is kind of, you know, fucked up. 
which I want to, uh, I want to, I won't like fucking, I'm not going to like let that go. Like if they count bo- like all the back of the heads, but they didn't. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk about it. Like, uh, I'm going to talk, if they counted all the back of the heads that he did, he would have lost the flight. But overall as a fight, it was boring. It was unentertaining. A lot of shit was talked for zero seasoning. It's like when you make like, you know, when you put like an hour into a meal and you take a bite and it tastes like absolute dog shit. It's like you want to kill yourself because it's like, why did I even waste my time with this? It was so, I was so annoyed. I was like, why on God's green earth is this a thing right now? Why on earth has this happened to me? No, 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 explain it. I'm listening. Explain that shit. Explain why it's happening to me, all right? Because I don't believe it. I really don't. I really, really, really don't. Uh, KSI, he throwing overhand clinch, overhand clinch, overhand clinch. Stana stay inside. Tommy, he's just fine with it. All right, I'll clinch. JJ on his toes, moving, trying to switch the angles. Huh, huh, huh. Tommy standing in the room, bearing him down like a tiger. But guess what? Didn't use his long range, didn't use his jab. I don't think I've seen him jab once. The cleanest shot did come from KSI. But overall, as a fight, it was boring. There was only one back of the head counted, so that means there was only one point deducted. So that means only one round. Th- the first two rounds goes to KSI. Everything else was Tommy Fury. So it's just, it doesn't, like, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I don't care who wins. I don't want to see a rematch. I don't want to see any Twitter talk. I don't want to see any YouTube videos after this shit. Tommy, go fight a real boxer or go in an entertainment or some shit. Become a presenter or a host because you have to choose what you want to do now. You is not no little boy no more, nigga. And you, you struggling against KSI. I know KSI is a YouTuber, but that he's actually, he's, 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 he's an amateur boxer. In all eyes, KSI is an amateur boxer who's like literally one step away from going pro. And if he goes pro, I'm not going to think he's going to become world heavyweight champion or some shit. No, I think KSI will probably be like top like 300 in the world or some shit. You know, if that's even a number. Like he'll be he'll be average at best as a real thing. Because the thing is he had to he has to let go of everything else in his life to do it, which he won't. So from what I've seen, the card was bullshit. Because I only watched the last two fights. But if the first two fights were as good as people said. Or the, the Dean the Great versus Waleed. And Salt Poppy versus Slim. Were, if both of these were real good. I'm going to watch the trailer later. Then fine. But the two main fights that everybody was looking forward to. Were both ass. And I was so fucking mad. I was so incredibly disgusted. I was just like I'm never going to ever hope again. Ever. Ever. And I'm glad I didn't. Okay. There's that. First thing that I wanted to talk about. Now, next thing, transitioning over to something called The Bear. Now, I've been put on by The Bear. I was told it was a great show. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it, man. I didn't believe it. Then I wa- I, I decided to watch it. And holy shit, is a great show. It is a great, great, great show. It's a great show. It's a... Fuck, man, I, I, I miss these types of shows because it's super easy to watch for me. It's not something super deep. It's just about a kitchen, man. I heard people talking about it's about anxiety and stress and shit like that. I must not have that much anxiety and stress because I, I, I watched the show at night, the first season, and then the next night I watched the second season, like literally back to back, and I loved it. I loved the show. I loved the freaking... I love the characters. I love this guy right here. Uh, Cousin. Cousin had the biggest glow up and it happened in one episode. And I was, I hated this guy for time, but I understood the position he was in. He grows up his whole life. He's there. And now some dude comes in, his own family member, not really family, but family. And he's going to change everything. And it's just like, damn, like, really? He's like, yeah, really, bro. And so it it was tough, man. I really, I felt for him. But then he was like, you know what? Fuck it. I have to change too. I have to find my direction. And he did. And it was beautiful. And I really enjoyed that. Shows about cooking. They say it's about anxiety and stress or whatnot. But I, I didn't really think it's about making a restaurant better in general. This guy's like a very famous global restaurant who has like a Michelin star or some shit. And then he has to come back down to this shitty a sandwich shop in Chicago and he's trying to make it like a five-star restaurant you know that's the premise of the show 
Uh, the characters are in it are funny. I like the way it goes. I like the pacing. It's 30 minutes per episode, so it's easily digestible. Just a great show overall. I'd really put this like a, a solid 8.5 out of 10. No bullshit. I enjoyed every second of it. Now, next thing that we got here is Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith. I hate how every time Jada Pinkett says something, it's against her husband. I don't understand that. Like, she has to hate... Wait, wait, hold on. What is this? That's, that's bullshit. 20, 30... Fuck, this tweet popped off. What the fuck? Damn. Oh, oh. Alright, now we gotta... Yeah. That's why you can't trust Twitter. Fucking hell. Oh, wait, he responded? Notifications off. That's not his real account. Yeah, I fucking knew it. That's him, though. Fun fact about me. I can take a not almost anywhere. He didn't. He, he didn't. Oh my god, I can't type right now. Did he post that? Oh, he did post that. Ah. Oh. Oh, I skipped ahead. Okay. Alrighty then. Whatever. But she's talking about how she don't even like him no more. Whatnot. I don't want to hear a single thing else about Jaden, uh, Jada Smith. Uh, I don't fuck with her at all. Talking about Tupac. Talking about you shouldn't slap them. Talking about how can your wife publicly embarrass you like this nonstop. I, I, Will Smith was the guy before this. Before I knew about Jada Pinkett Smith, I didn't know about her until like maybe... A couple, like, a year before the slap. A little bit before the slap, I didn't even know who she was. I knew who Jadis, Jaden Smith was, and I knew who Will Smith was. I, I've i heard of Willow, but, I like, i seen the... I went back, back, I've heard the song, but I didn't know that was Willow Smith. But Will, Willow, and Jaden are the only three people that I was familiar with. Will I was very familiar with. Jaden I was familiar with, and... And Willow, I was somewhat familiar with. I didn't know who Jaden is. I don't know who uh, Jada is. I didn't know anything. But then every week, some shit started coming out. And, oh, Entanglement. Oh, August Alcina. I was like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Oh, we were separated. I was just like, yo, why are you airing this out? What the fuck? I was so shocked. I was like, no way you're airing this entire thing out for everybody to see. And so, like, bro, I was just like, yeah, you got it. You got it, bro. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's right there. Gastino underscore underscore. Right there. I got the same profile pic as my YouTube, so go ahead. I tweet about the Vikings and the Man City, and that's it. Dude. Dude, he could have had so many fucking baddies. Bro, he could have had so many baddies, man. I love this man. I hate Will uh, Jaden Smith, bro. Just get the fuck out of his life. Divorce already, and please don't take any of his money. Because if she takes his money after she divorces him, I promise to God I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna lose my mind. I don't want to hear about this bitch ever again in my life. I fucking hate her to guts. How can you do this to the man that you supposedly love, who you've had kids with, who you've done this with, who you've done? I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. So there's that. Next thing that we're going to talk about is... Actually, we're going to save that for last. Let's talk about Eden Hazard first. Eden Hazard renounces his retirement for professional football. He was at Chelsea since like 2012, 2013. And then 2020 or 2021, he went to Real Madrid and he sucked ass and got injured like four or five seasons in a row or something. I'll be honest with you. I don't feel sad. I don't feel happy. I don't. I just don't give a shit. I stopped caring about Eden Hazard in 2017, 2018, bro. I don't care about this guy at all. Not even a tiny bit. I don't believe in him. I don't think he's done shit. I don't really, I don't even think he's that good of a player. And I know people are going to push back on me for this, but I've watched him. One in, in 2016, 2015, 2017. Back when I was really heavy on the Premier League. And I never, ever thought, wow, what a great player. Wow, what an amazing player. I've never, ever thought that watching him. Maybe he is, but not for me. I'm a hater at heart, so I'm going to hate on this as much as I possibly can. So I'm hating on it. 
I'm hating on it, and I'm proud that I'm hating on it. Uh, so, yeah. He says that he has to realize, like, hey. Like, hey, bro, like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm, it's up for me. I'm glad that he done that. He's like, yo, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do this shit. He played 700 matches, bro. That's a lot. That's a fucking lot. He's not Ronaldo, man. Ronaldo breathes and lives for this shit. Hazard, I don't even think he took training seriously, bro. He's one of those people. But, yeah. Uh, that's all I have to say about Eden Hazard. I don't care at all. And I know that's weird. It was like, why are you talking about it if you don't care? Because people are talking about he's better than this. He's better than that. He's not. He's not better than De Bruyne. Don't bring it up. He's not better than De Bruyne. De Bruyne is the best Premier League player ever. And under that is Henri. Everybody else, sort the whole ranking out. I don't give a fuck. All right. That's it. That's it. That's that's it. That's it. Next, we're going to talk about for all the dogs. I want to say this. I want to say for all the dogs. <laughs> Before this album dropped, we got CLB, which was very anticipated. And CLB drops, and nobody likes it. And I didn't like it at first. But then a couple of days passed, I think two days passed, and then I listened to it. I was like, hold on, this shit kind of slapping. I heard one song. No friends in the industry, my butters with my butters, man. You, you know that song. And I liked it. I don't like that song now, obviously, but I liked it. And that's what made me re-listen to the album again. So then I listen to the album, and I'm listening. Champagne poetry. These are the effluent flows that whatever. I was like, okay, not bad. Poppy freestyle. Uh, I don't like that. Girls like girls? Okay. It's kind of vibey. Fair trade? Ooh. Love all? Ooh, okay. We're getting some shit. The Dirk song with Giving On? Okay, that's not bad. Way too sexy? Okay, this is a commercial hit. I understand it. Uh, I gotta go through the track list because I'm fucking forgetting right now. I, I'm forgetting I'm forgetting everything right now. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I'm planning on listening to this album real soon. I heard it was a banger, so I'm about to listen to it real quickly. Show me. Okay. In the Bible, Love All, Fair Trade, Way to Say, TSU, Banger, Into Deep. Banger. These three songs back to back to back, all bangers. And then this one comes on. Oh my god, great. Whoever sung Yeba, I think it's, it says Yeba. Um, Yeba went crazy. And then this one came out, and I was like, this was my song. But then now I kind of hate it, I'll be honest with you. And then this one came on, and I love this. I still love this song. It's great. And then 7 a.m. on Brutal Path. The timestamp, I think this is the weakest timestamp, but it's not bad. It's not a bad song. It's just the weakest timestamp. That's just it. 8 a.m. is better than this one already. 8 a.m. in Charlotte, is in, in, in Carolina, is better than this one already. Uh, Race My Mind, whew, that goes crazy. Fountains Gets Wrong. I want to get along better with your friends. Bro, he goes on a crazy, like, like the, the beginning of this shit is great and all. It's good and all. It's good and all. It's good and all. It's good and all. And then he goes bang, 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 miss, bang, 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 and then fucking miss. This is the most exciting song because Drake and Ross don't miss except for this one. I hated this song. And then this one, I fucking liked it. And then these two, uh, it's a little, you know, it's a little here or there. But the more I listen to it, the more I like it. And it's just like fucking what Drake said, which I hate about this dude. He's so confident, it pisses me off. He says, drop a classic, years later they say it's a sleeper or some shit like that. Facts. Just facts. This is literally a sleeper of an album. It's so... I think out of the 21 songs, 16 of them are, 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 are fucking amazing. And that's a okay. Let me count them: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, fourteen. My bad. All right, fourteen are are fucking amazing, and then like four are good, and like three I'm not listening to, and that's it. But then he drops honestly never mind, which I was. This is my favorite Drake album ever. The only two songs that I don't like is this intro, which is not a song. 
and then this liability shit, which is ass. I don't know why this is a fuck. I hate the slow down melody. I don't like it. But everything else on this album, I listen to it, especially in the late night when I'm chilling. I put that on in the background, bro. I fucking love it. And then he's like, I'm not done. 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 Here you go with her loss. And holy fuck did he slap his dick on the table with her loss. This shit is a banger, bro. I swear to God, I think the only L song on this, I think there's not an L song. It's this one right here. This 21 Savage right here. This 21 Savage, These the last two songs on the album I didn't fuck with. Everything else is a W. The last two, these two aren't bad, but this shit, like, bro, Circle Loco, Spin About You, Privileged Rappers, Middle of the, o middle of the Ocean, oh my, bro, bro, boys, I can't, bro, he went stupid, he just dropped, honestly, never mind, and then he just dropped her, he went stupid, we don't need nothing else, we don't, we're good for like a year and a half, two years, he says, fuck it, I'm gonna drop Search and Rescue, I'm gonna drop this, I'm gonna drop this, all right, I'm going to drop this. I'm going to drop. Boom, let me drop my album. Boom, let me drop my album. And holy fuck, first listen. First listen, I listened to this song. I was like, it's all right. Then I listened to this song. I was like, ooh, banger. Then I listened to this song. I was like, fuck yeah, banger. And then I listened to this. I was like, yeah. Then I listened to this. I was like, oh my God, I love this shit. I love this song. I listened to these two back to back. I was like, fuck. Oh, no, no, no. I listened to these. I was like, yeah. And I was like, yeah. And then this one dropped. And I listened to that shit like 30 times since. And then this one, I like it. But it takes way too long to get into the song. I don't, I don't fuck it. And then this one just threw all my energy out the window. It threw all my energy out the window. And then it got boring. And then this one also got boring. And then I just stopped listening to it. That's, that's exactly how I went. Two days go by. I'm at work. I need something to do. I listen to it all over again. Yeah, this song's a banger. This one's a banger. This one's good. Too long of interlude, so I skip it every time. This one, banger. 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 This one, I don't like it until the end where the guy sings. This one is standard. It's a banger. This one, not a banger. Uh, it's I. Right. This song right here, Tried Our Best and Drew Picasso. Bro, after this, the album just goes like, like the first part of the album was good. It's all right. But Tried Our Best, fucking amazing song. Then Drew Picasso, holy shit, is it a banger. And then the party, bro, what will Pluto do? Uh, 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 uh. And then Chief keeps all the parties, 8 a.m. in Charlotte, BBL Love, Gently, this shit got me moving my hips. This shit right here, and then boom, and then, and then boom, and then the last song is dead. The last song is horrible. I don't fuck with the last song. But apparently, there's a Yeba version of this last song, which we need to hear, because this song is kind of ass by itself, I'll be honest with you. I feel like that's the only ass song on this album. This one is just not, it's just not good. This one is straight cheeks, but this one is just not good. Everything else is a solid 6 to 8 out of 10. And I've been hearing, like, shit about, oh, this guy this, this guy that, uh, this guy this, this guy that, yada, yada, yada. And I'm just like, yo, Drake does what he wants. Drake is him for a reason. And I enjoyed it so much. And then I see Joe Budden's comments, and I'm just like, why the fuck does he have to cater to what you like? Why can't he just make music for himself? He's been making music for more than 15, 20 years almost, dude. He's made it. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. How many number ones does this guy have? How many number one albums does he have? How many number one songs does he have? How much awards does this dude have? How much bang? Like, this dude has hits on hits on hits on hits. Every album guaranteed at least two hits. Plus all the solo songs he puts out. He has at least 100 bangers under his belt. He deserves to drop whatever the fuck he wants. And this shit is not even a bad album. I'm listening to Joe Budden talk and I'm just like in, ad in academics and all these people who are criticizing this dude's music and Charlemagne the God. And I'm just like, it's not even a bad album. It's not. It's not a bad album. And I really enjoyed it. And I don't want people thinking, oh, you're dick riding. I'm not dick riding. I just enjoyed it. I liked the album. I think it was good. And that, that, that's, that's what I'm going off of. And that's my thinking. 
that's it. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, this is a kind of a different video. I kind of just talked about everything that happened this last week. I didn't want to make separate videos and shit. Uh, I think I'm going to make it a thing. I'm going to call it G Week. And I'm just do that. Uh, yeah. If you like the video, like the video, comment, subscribe. Um, and uh, final thing, uh, just update on what's going on with me if you care, anybody. But uh, yeah, I've been going through a little bit of a rough patch uh, mentally. And I'm kind of struggling to upload, I'll be honest with you. I'm struggling to do a lot right now, but I'm struggling to upload. I want to, I'm, I'm going to make this my side gig. I want to make this my side hustle. I want to make this like something that I do on the side that I'm not too worried about. Just something that I can just like, because the thing is that upload every day shit got me fucked up. Like, and I, and I, and I, I don't mind it. I feel like I should just upload longer videos every other day or every two days or something. Just whatever I'm feeling for real. Because uploading every day is good. But then I, it's like a machine. Like I'm just upload. Like I'm making a video. It's like a processing belt. You know. Just shit that just. Hang, and I don't like that. Like I want to make something. And then I'll be like okay yeah. Boom. Upload it. Then I want to make something else. And be like here you go. And then be, people will be like okay yeah I like it. And then that's it. You know. That's all I want. That's what I'm thinking. Alright. Uh, yeah. That's it for this video. Uh, if you like the video, like the video, comment, subscribe. It's pretty long, I know. I'm sorry, but no, I'm not sorry. I'm I'm make however long I want, but yeah, please uh stick around, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching, man. I appreciate it more than you think. Comment, you know, do all that shit. I'm I'm saying the same shit over and over again. Yikety yikety.